Hey all, Heber here. So uh, I've downloaded and started playing the new LEGO 2K Drive game and uh, I've been looking quite forward to this game actually because, you know, it involves actually building LEGOs. So uh, the game feels deceptively deep actually. Um, you know, there's differences, well, very like pronounced differences between road cars, off-road cars and the boats that you get to drive in this game here. So uh, I decided I would try to actually buy one of the DLC cars that are available to see what, well, what you get out of it really. So uh, I chose this 4x4 fire rescue truck here because uh, as you can see the stats up in the corner gives me plus 12 and plus 18. And um, that seems to be very important in the game. I haven't really played it enough yet to be absolutely sure. But it looks like you can, you know, purchase... You know, vehicles online and uh, the stats you get with those vehicles you can then apply to other vehicles and uh, that seems to be very powerful and uh, as I am an agile player uh, I obviously go for the um, you know the handling here which is what you'll get plus uh, I believe 18 of in this uh, with this uh, car here no plus 12 it is so uh, I've only scratched the surface in this game here so far, I've only played it for a few hours, but uh, it is an open world racer, right, where you can uh, build your own vehicles from scratch, really, and uh, you can choose color, all sorts of bricks, and uh, you know, you get all the usual Lego bricks here, and I'm assuming there will be lots more you can download, uh, there's already quite a few in the store that you can buy, and I also bought like some special windshields and whatever as well was available. Um, and uh, I see great potential in this and of course the whole you know building of your uh, vehicle is uh, is great fun so now uh, the other Lego games out there are usually about breaking stuff and of course you can break stuff in this game here especially when you are racing but uh, building you know your vehicles from scratch Everything from the wheels up is uh, completely uh, in your hands and you can do whatever you want. I'll do more videos on this because you can really b build some really, uh, you know, amazing stuff. And if you have the bricks like at home, which I don't, <laughs> I used to, but uh, not anymore, uh, you can actually build, you know, the vehicles in real life should you want to. So that's actually really cool. And uh, these are the stats here that I was talking about earlier. They seem to be very important in the game. I haven't leveled my... Uh, character enough yet to really get into the really cool stuff but it looks like that you can you know skip ahead by just purchasing these things online they come with some of the uh, available cars like for example like a wall here is apparently what I got with this car here at least it seems like it <laughs> um, but you know this looks like a game with potential and uh, there's already planned four season passes uh, or seasons you can get them all with the season pass so uh, it looks like there's a lot in store and like I said if they keep adding new bricks and uh, you know new biomes and stuff like that I could see this game actually becoming quite deep and uh, you know quite fun to play I mean the uh, physics are already very very deep like uh, this feels excellent to drive and if you build a tall vehicle you know like then it gets top heavy and if you build like a very flat one you know it's uh, it's very different like the physics are very very impressive actually so uh, I see a bright future for this game here if the developer keeps adding stuff to it so uh, I'll do some more digging and I'll you know level up my cars and I'll see if I'll actually you know still agree with this in a day or two but so far I'm quite impressed with the game here although the gameplay itself perhaps is a little you know simple uh, but the whole building part is really the reason that I bought this game and it, I like that uh, very much so I uh, hope you enjoyed it see you out there